So it looks like Jamaica's government may have to regulate the short-term rental industry. I'm Kalila Reynolds, financial journalist and educator based in Jamaica. We've been talking about the government possibly regulating the short-term rental space for a few weeks now, and many of you have strong opinions about it, mostly that the government should still do a business when it comes to short-term rentals. But it's starting to look like the government will have to step in and put some rules in place whether we like it or not. So recently, the Supreme Court banned short-term rentals in a gated community in St. Andrew called College Common. The residents of this community took one of their neighbors to court because they said the tenants that stayed in his short-term rental always caused some kind of drama. So there was some back and forth between the community and the property owner until the matter eventually got to the Supreme Court. Well, in October, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the community banning short-term rentals in that particular gated community based on their restrictive covenant. Restrictive covenants outline what property owners can and can't do on the property. Once the property owners sign the covenant, they're agreeing to abide by the rules of the community. Now, this community's covenant specifies that properties should only be used for residential purposes. And since short-term rentals are considered businesses, that means the property was being used for commercial purposes and was in breach of the community's rules. However, as Vice President of the Realtors Association, Gabrielle Grant Gilpin Hudson noted, this ruling is just a temporary solution. Short-term rentals brought in over 100 million U.S. dollars to Jamaica last year. So as that number grows, there will need to be some standardized framework to guide the industry. I think every community needs, if their rules are silent on the issue, they need to come to our position and say, are we for right. it? Are we against it? And decide and take Absolutely. the steps necessary to, to do that. If you are allowing it, it's helpful to have a framework. So, for example, certain communities have procedures where the owners operating them are registered. They have requirements about keeping copies of IDs for people, letting them know when people are coming. Sometimes you have to pay additional things for additional security services, things things like that. Um, so that is on a community to community level. And then we have, you know, the national level. Um, we've heard the Minister of Tourism speak about potentially regulate, regulating the sector. And especially as it relates to destination assurance, certainly minimum best practices or guidelines, I think that would be welcomed, you know, you knowing, okay, if I'm operating an Airbnb, these are the minimum standards or a short-term rental, let me not broad brush it. These are the minimum standards that I need to adhere to. You know, do you have a first aid kit? Do you are, you know, are you keeping the place to a certain level of cleanliness, sanitation issues, those kind of things? Do you need a license? Um, what's that process going to be like? Or is it something where you just register? Um, you know, I think those questions are questions that we need to answer. But there's always a worry that when the government steps in, the little man will get stepped on. What I don't want is for like certain other things that small people in there making, trying to make life, trying to enrich themselves, trying to step up. When it's regularized, it's only the big man or the big woman can afford to have it done. That's what I don't want. And I'm sure that is why the, the, the fear of being regularized is in the sector because you're making you're doing something and then all of a sudden it is at a particular level that you can't even reach but the consensus is that there needs to be some framework to guide the sector so that these disputes don't continuously end up in court and that's the bottom line so what do you think? Does this case change your stance on the government regulating short-term rentals? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments. Take our Real Estate for Beginners course to learn how to start investing in real estate in Jamaica. The link is in the description below. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. <laughs> <laughs>